May 14th, 2008 was the start of Delta Phi Nu. Today is Founders Day and this marks the fourth year of its existence. The mother and the mother and founder of Delta Phi Nu had given us a task to go and do something creative, whether it be a video, a drawing, a painting, a poem, anything you please. So today I switched all my Facebook, Twitter, and my cover pages to Delta Phi Nu to make it all Delta Phi Nu. I even sported all my Delta gear and I wrote something that says, this is what Delta means to me. I walk into a room with people I didn't know. I was nervous. What did I walk into? Then I looked around and realized people looked just as nervous as me. Someone stood up and started talking about the list she'd created on the board. This made me even more nervous. Could I accomplish everything that she was asking me to do? And what and what she was asking me to be? It wasn't who she wanted wanted me to be. It was who she wants me to become. There were tasks and things to memorize. I thought, I don't know if I can keep up with all this, but I did. I pushed myself like I have never pushed pushed myself before, and it felt great. As the year went on, I pushed myself even more. I wanted to become the person that I was capable of being. I was capable of being more than I had ever thought possible. Then, initiation hit. Again, I felt nervous and scared. The same thoughts went through my head. Am I really what they're looking for? Did I prove myself to be a true Delta with loyalty, knowledge, and perseverance? My name was called, called out first, out of everyone's name. My heart started racing. I stepped into the room and I met a girl named Rebecca. And I met her for the first time. She made me feel comfortable. We were talking and laughing. That really made the rest of the evening so much easier. Yes, we shouldn't be playing Marco Polo. But really, getting a bunch of girls in a small space together and asking them to be quiet, you know, that's really going to be a difficult task. task. The night was concluded with a nice dinner where we all handed out our, handed out our big and little gifts. I had done it. I had succeeded. I was officially a Delta Phi Nu. With each year that passed, I became more comfortable with who I was and went through went through my ups and downs, and finally came out of my shell. One day, Elissa turned to me, and she had told me that she had never seen, seen me so confident and talkative as I was this year. Delta Phi Nu has taught me that no matter who you are capable of, no matter who you are, you are capable of a whole lot. Just set your mind to it, and you will be successful. Yeah.
Delta Phi Nu is a place where I can feel safe to save to talk about whatever I please and be whoever I want to be. Delta Phi Nu is free of judgments and it is a place where every sister can feel free to turn to turn in time of need. The ladies of Delta Phi Nu are not only my sisters, but are my family. I love them and I will be by their side till the very end.